What is uh, Facebook? So I think I might have fixed the issue when I restarted my computer because now if I go to the sound and turn it down to here and hopefully it stays there because I can't have it too terribly loud on the input volume when I go to record on a keeper cast it'll make my guitar playing sound like shit. Um, the Keeper Cast deal will be happening at 8.30 sharp, and it's now 7.17. So, you shouldn't be drunk at work, Mr. Riker, but just be careful now that if you get yourself fired, that's on you. You shouldn't go to work wasted, period. You know what I'm saying? It's just no. <sighs> uh, something funny I just thought of in my head, but I can't share it on social media. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, man. That's what's up. Well, I guess if, you know, as long as your, uh, your superior is okay with it, then, hey, man, do the do it up, I guess. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I'm thinking about getting some Crown Royal Sour Apple and mixing it with Rockstar Hardcore Green Apple. And calling it a green cobra for a drink combination one of these days. Because I reckon if you mix rock stars, sour apple, that hardcore sour apple, and you mix that with some Crown Royal green apple, I bet you that shit would taste delicious. I bet you that shit would be smooth as fuck. There's one thing I do well, it's mixed drinks. My taste in booze is, is exquisite. I know how to mix some delicious shit <clears throat> so I don't know why and it cranked back up to the fucking full blast on the input volume seriously I normally have the input volume up Like all the way when I'm, or somewhat all the way up when I'm doing Garage Band, or if I'm trying to record guitar for video on live stream, I noticed the playback sounded horrible. Why isn't it staying down? I don't understand it. Man, this is weird shit. Yeah. So I'm um, gonna sit and relax a bit more longer here, but here's the thing of it. Once about 8.30 starts, you might see me on KeeperCast, so you don't want to tune into that. It's uh, 7.20, so just about an hour to go. Make sure that um, <sighs> my hair looks good for the KeeperCast, you know what I'm saying? Like, I noticed that. So I'll style my hair just right, kind of push it down and push it forward, go like that. There we go. That looks a lot better. 
Those are actually concurves to the shape of my scalp. But I see my widow's peak growing back in, those patches of hair going back in on either side. It's only a matter of time before I have a full head of bangs again, and that'll be nice. Load up some of that Captain Black Royale pipe tobacco. What an appropriate pipe tobacco to smoke for somebody who's into King Cobras. Eh. Captain Black Royal. Okay, that was a horrible pun, but there you go. Oh yeah. That's delicious. You notice the pipe didn't completely stay green, like parts of it are, yeah, it, it didn't stay green, it just kind of all of it faded it off. It looks weird colored right now, but I'm rocking with it. This pipe has never done me wrong though, this is a good pipe, but it was well made. I think if I wanted to fucking stain it, I should have used pipe stain instead of spray paint. That would have been my first, you know what I'm saying? But a jar of tobacco pipe stain that's like dark green like I wanted is 80 bucks. I mean, you're spending 80 bucks to restain a pipe for just one pipe, you know what I'm saying? It kind of, yeah. I mean, could you use it to stain the wood? on your wands too that's the thing of it because if you could then it'd be worth the investment but if you couldn't then what's the point of only doing it for just one pipe yeah when they already have pipes that are like that if i go to google Peterson Racing Green Pipes. These little bastards uh, are already pre-stained dark green. Like, holy shit, that's the same shape as mine. Oh, a Peterson Racing Green X105 Fishtail. Oh, that is sexy. That's the exact same shape as this one, too. I'm going to visit the site that sells it. Oh, it's sold. That sucks. And the X105 Fishtail from Peterson Racing Green series. That is nice. Of course, that was from 2010, so no wonder why it's discontinued. So I've got a copy link. Of course, this one's pretty gorgeous, too. It's a little Sherlock deal. Racing Green 221 P Lip. That's not bad looking. The green finish on the Racing Green series is freaking gorgeous. Especially with the bloody black stem that's 
Magnificent craftsmanship. If you're going to go with like any top brand tobacco pipe maker, Peterson or Dunhill is your best bet. But um, Dunhill is a bit more expensive. Let's see. G R E E N. B U N H I L L. I wonder if Dunhill makes it. Oh, God damn it. And H I. And the keys didn't press down all the way, so of course it's going to not spell everything right. I can try that again. They did make it, but it was in a rustic finish. That's crazy looking. I got some Peterson St. Patrick's Day pipes from the 2017 collection at pipesandcigars.com. I don't need a new pipe. I just like looking at them sometimes because it and close. They got the billiard version, which I like. Oh, damn, that's fancy. Holy Jesus Christ. 108 bucks. Goddamn. Could you imagine spending 108 bucks on a tobacco pipe? That is insanity. And if you think that's expensive, I've seen tobacco pipes go for thousands of dollars. But this Peter St. St. Patrick's Day 2017 106 pipe is literally the same shape as this one. And it's stained a rich dark green. Yeah. Well, the last Peterson pipe I had, it was really nice. I liked it. But then I dropped it on the cold ground by accident, and it broke with the stem still inside. And then when the stem broke off completely, I was like, you fucking kidding me with this shit? And of course, that pipe was a lot tinier than this one. This monstrosity of it. This is a, this is a 105, 106 billiard shape. You know what I'm saying? Like, classic pipe shape. This you know what I'm saying? Now the stem gets too loose, then I can tighten it back up. It's, yeah, easy enough. Good gracious, 108 bucks, man. That is insane. <clears throat> but, um... Yes, sir. -y. I'll try to advertise my fan merch on KeeperCast, too. I'll have Teespring set up and opened so I can copy and paste and share links on the live video and such. What the hell? I had the output volume. I'll turn that down halfway. And then turn. That down. Just like. Right about there is perfect. Cause we're going to record it a live video with somebody and want the sound of my computer to be just right. 
and um, I can't have the sound of it being all shitty and shit. So. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll see you all on, uh, on KeeperCast.